the Red Cross in our area, is ready to help. The Mountain Empire chapter even has an emergency response vehicle that can serve hot meals to disaster victims. But it's sitting in their parking lot, unused, because not enough volunteers are certified to operate it. We talked to Bill Grenell, the director of the chapter that serves Southwest Virginia. He says it's possible, but it's going to take some teamwork. He reached out to the Roanoke chapter and found out they have a certified driver, and a response vehicle, ready to go. But it takes two volunteers per truck, so a volunteer from Bristol is joining that crew. Here in the Tri-Cities, Grenell says we need a larger selection of volunteers because not everyone is available when disaster strikes. He tells me volunteers usually spend about two weeks in the affected areas. And he is urging anyone interested in volunteering to get trained now. It's always critical to volunteer and help get the training and orientation ahead of time because whenever a disaster comes up, it's too late. We need to have people that are already equipped and ready to handle the situation at that point in time, Grenell said. Grenell says training takes just three days. And there are many areas a volunteer can help, from donating blood, to helping in local disasters, and supporting the armed forces. If you do want to help those impacted by Hurricane Matthew, but you can't commit to traveling, you can make a $10 donation to the American Red Cross by texting Matthew to 90,999.